Italian hey, guys, welcome you back. In this video, I want to talk about how to identify. I, I got a comment, and I think many people are stuck there, especially Indians. Um, you know, news media is portraying Swamiji in a certain way, um, but the way they portray Swamiji is not real. And it is known that the Indian paid media is a big fraudulent happening and they air whatever they want to air as long as they get money, whether it is true or false, doesn't matter. As long as it gets views and it gets the company and the news channel running, it financially running, that's all that matters. So this thing is going on and some people, you know, they were sharing like, oh, I don't know. I mean, sometimes Swamji says things that seems completely uh, unbelievable. And the news media have all these things about, you know, all different, they portray Swamiji as a self-claimed godman and have all kinds of, they, they create all kinds of controversies around the happening of Swamiji. So the first thing I want to attend is the media always portray Swamiji as a self-claimed godman, uh, which is not true in the way that, and I'll put, the, you have to check the link below, um, you have to check the, the website autobiography of the avatar.org. The link is in the description below. Swamiji did not come out of nowhere. It's not like a pop star who just gets discovered and then it gets branded and people give money and they invest in that and then suddenly that pop star blows up and then that pop star, that pop star brings a lot of money to the entertainment industry and it comes out of nowhere. No, Swamiji did not come out of nowhere. If you study his biography, you will see that from a very from the very childhood, he was raised and taught by many gurus and not young people out of nowhere, some elder people who have had a certain experience, who, ha who have you know, grasped wisdom. Some of them were fully enlightened, some of them were not. And Swamiji was taught about so many different um, traditions and ways within Hinduism. Sometimes in Hinduism, you know, we think about Krishna, we think about Rama, uh, but there's more than that. I mean, yes, they have a big impact on Hinduism, but that's not it. Hinduism is much more than just how Rama has contributed to it or how uh, Lord Krishna has contributed to it. So Swamiji is bringing all this and I think it just creates a lot of confusion. So the first thing is to realize that the Indian paid media is a fraudulent happening. Like I said, as long as they get financial income and the TV channel grows, expands and survives this very difficult race, rat race to success in the industry, they will produce whatever information they can to create reaction within people. See, what they want is interaction. They want views. They want, they want to get the people's attention. Whatever they need, they, they, they need to do to get people's attention, they will do. Whether it is dharmic or adharmic, they don't care. Whether it is right or, right or false, doesn't matter. What matters is views, income, and get the news channel running. So getting information from the news is a very dangerous thing to do. You have to do your own research. Um, and that's why I'm saying first check the autobiography of the avatar, have a glimpse of the life of Swamiji. It's filled of content. Uh, from his different gurus and how he got initiated into various sampradayas, in, into various mahavakyas, into various techniques, um, different paths of Hinduism. And he, he does not come out of nowhere. You know, you don't start to have a guru at the age of three years old to come out and just, you know, run an organization and, and make money. That's not the purpose. He's not a business. He's not a businessman. He took a life because he is there to restore the science of enlightenment and make Indians and the world realize that the Hindu lifestyle is ultimate because not only it's the best lifestyle, but it's a lifestyle which is rooted in the science of enlightenment, which is the purpose for which we take the human body. Because only the human body on the plane of Bhuloka um, is, has the freedom to manifest liberation. So that is very important. Swamiji does not come out of nowhere. He has many lineages. He has a lot of things backing up what he's claiming. Okay, sometimes what he says, we don't grasp it right away, but that's fine. First, start seeking and start using what you grasp. Have maturity. Don't have an immature conversation with life by just saying, oh, he said one thing I disagree, so I discard the whole thing. That is such an that's an immature conversation with life. That's not going to help you. 
Okay, whatever he says that you connect to, start with that. Implement that in your life, see the results. And keep seeking about the things you don't understand. You will not understand everything that he shares right away because he speaks from a space of enlightenment, which we have forgotten. Our mind is not wired to grasp like that. It is wired to grasp otherwise. So the mind has to be dismantled. And that takes a little bit of time. And depending on the intensity of your seeking and the intensity of your prayerfulness, um, the time varies. It is basically the, the authenticity of the individual that makes the journey quick or long. But like we need to have a mature conversation with the whole thing. Medias are portraying one thing, they're getting their views, they're getting their money. But as an individual, just believing what media says is not a mature conversation with yourself. It's dangerous. How can you make conclusions, opinions about yourself, about life, about things around you, just by listening to somebody or someone who is paid, who doesn't care about what he shares, but he's doing it for the sake of getting financial support. That's a very dangerous way of existing. That person will swindle you. That's pers that person will make you believe whatever you want to believe for the sake of, again, getting the financial support. So it's not about that. You have to do your research. You get your own experience. You entertain the seeking. Don't come to conclusions too fast. Keep the seeking alive, keep the prayerfulness alive, connect, listen, seek, contemplate, you know, ma uh, manana, internalize, start to live these teachings in your life, see how it makes you evolve, it makes you grow, and then, you know, have more seeking. And you will start to realize at some point that what Swamji says, even though sometimes it sounds completely crazy, it is not. But you need to allow yourself to grow to a point where you grasp what Swamiji is sharing. So that's what I want to share in this video. So let's be mature with life. Let's not just be reactive to what media does. That's what media does. They just generate emotions and they keep people on the hype, you know, because people will keep following, they will keep watching. So they can keep having the views, they can keep ranking high and getting the sponsorship and money and find whatever financial support, success, financial success they are seeking. So let's have a mature conversation with life. Check out the autobiography of the Avatar uh, link. It's in the description below. Um, and yeah, very important. So subscribe. Yes, subscribing, clicking the bell icon, like, comment, and follow me in this journey of experiencing Hinduism, of experiencing Swamiji. And yes, Swamiji said Hinduism has to be experienced. It is not something you gain by birth. You have to turn it into your experience. And that is why there is no conversion in Hinduism. We enrich, empower, you grasp, you get what you want, you implement, you live, you become powerful, you realize how good Sanatana Hindu Dharma is for your life, and you start to align to that more and more. So with this, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Nityananda. Thank you.